television card game that everyone can play, Super Pay Cards. And here's your host, Art James. Yes. Hi there. Hello. Thank you very much, everybody, and welcome to Super Pay Cards. We have two super players on hand today. They're young, they're attractive, they're competitive, and one of them will be going for $5,000 in cash at the end of the show. Here's Mary Lou to introduce our players. Art, today we have a competition of arts versus science. Meet an artist who has just sold out her first show and hopes to continue on this lucky roll. <laughs> this is Janice Udell. Hello, Janice. How are you? Janice's opponent is interested in political science, and he's confident that his knowledge of strategy will lead him to the big win. This is Arnold Fox. Arnold, all right. <laughs> Janice, your very first show, and you sold out? You sold everything? Everything. Terrific. Well, this is a, a sign of uh, what's to come. Oh, and I, I hope so. I hope you do as well in the game. Good luck. Thank you very much. I think you'll need it. Arnold, a political science major, do you intend to be one of the rulers of the earth in the years to come? I don't Arnold? think so. No? The world's not ready for me. <laughs> well, but we are, and as a matter of fact, in uh, your introduction by Mary Lou, one of our hands today is called strategy. So good luck to both of you. Let's have at it. Our deck of 16 cards appears to kick off our first hand, which is five card draw. Now, in that deck are some pairs, some threes of a kind, some fours of a kind, some single cards, and it's uh, your task to build a better hand than your opponent's. Here is what we pay. Art, we pay $20 for a pair, we pay $50 for three of a kind, $100 for a full house, that's three of a kind plus a pair, we pay $200 for four of a kind, and a $50 bonus for high hand. Now, those figures are important because at the end of three hands of play, it's the player with the most money who goes for the $5,000 in the bonus round. Okay, now we're going to turn over four cards. This is important. You'll only see them for a few seconds, and remembering where they are could help you greatly during the course of play. Watch this. There is the king of spades. Ten of clubs. Ace of spades. And the five of clubs. Back they go. Arnold, I understand that uh, you strategically won the toss of the coin before the show, which means you go first. Pick three cards. If you find a pair, you keep them. Good luck. Okay, we'll start off with number one, please. Number one. Nice card, Ace of Diamonds. Okay, number four. And number four. Five of Spades. Now, I think we've seen one of each of those. Let's see if he goes for a pair. And I I think it's number eight. Number eight. What has he found? The ten of clubs. Now, you don't have to take these three. It's up to you. Do you want them? No, I'm not going to take them. Uh, okay. He sends them back. Yes, Janice. Let's see what you can do with your first three. Uh, I'd like to see what's under number ten, please. Number ten. Now, there is an ace of spades. Is she going to match it now or shop first? I think I'll shop around. Let's see what's under number fifteen, please. Number fifteen is the Ten of Spades. Now, let's see what she does with her third card. Uh, could I have number one, please? Number one. Is that the ace? Yes, ace of diamonds. A pair of aces and a ten. You have your first three cards. It's still your turn, Janice, but now it's one card at a time. I'd like to see what's under number eight. Number eight is the Ten of Clubs. Do you want it? It gives you two pairs, a chance for a full house. She takes it. She has two pairs. Now, Janice, before you turn over another card, if you complete your hand with this next card, you force Arnold to do so immediately. Keep that in mind as you turn one more up. Can I see what's under number four, please? She has a pair of aces and a pair of tens. Number four is the five of spades. Do you want it? No. She sends it back. Arnold, three cards for you. Okay, let's start off with number 11. Number 11. Five of clubs. Let's go with number 12. Well, four of those is nothing to sneeze at. Number 12, right next door, is the eight of hearts. Okay, let's go with number seven, I think it is. Number seven. And that's the king of hearts. Do you want these three cards? No. Okay, nothing matches up, so he sends them back. Janice. You have tens and aces. Turn over a card. Let's 
see where a 10 is. I'd like to see what's under number 13, please. Number 13. Eight of spades, you want it? No. Back it goes. Arnold, three cards for you. Number five, please. Number five is the king of spades. Number seven, please, for the and, pair. And number seven for the pair, he says. Yes, he's found a pair of kings. Still your turn. Okay, I've got unlucky number 13. 13 gives him the eight of spades. Still your turn. One card this time. One card this time. Um, number... 16. Number 16. Want the five of diamonds? No, thank you. Back it goes. Yes, Janice, you're looking for a 10 or an ace. Uh, I'd like to see what's under number two, please. Number two. Five of hearts, how about it? No. Back it goes. Arnold, you have a pair of kings and an eight. Okay, number 14, please. 14. You want the king of clubs? Yes, I'll take Who it. takes it? It's still your turn. Turn up another card. Okay, how about number 16, I think? 16. What does this do for him? Well, it's a five of diamonds. Doesn't help your hand. Well, no. But I must oh. ask, do you want it? He sends it no, back. Okay. Know. Yes, Janice. Let's see what's under number three. Number three. Well, that's, a, that's his fourth king. Uh, do you want to keep it? It completes your hand at two pairs, and it's not as good as his three kings. It's no. up to you. She sends it back. She's going for the best she can put together. Arnold, it is your turn. Now, let me think about this for a while. <laughs> the, the master strategist is I thinking. Think and yes, Arnold. I think I'll take number three. What a chance. All right. <laughs> he has four kings. But Janice, you have one try for a full house. It has to be a ten or an ace. Good luck. You must keep this next card. What have we not seen? I'd like to see what's under number 12, please. Number 12 is the eight of hearts. All hands are complete. Janice, you have two pairs. $20 a pair gives you $40. But it is Arnold with four kings, $200 plus $50 high hand, who takes the early lead with $250. <laughs> All right, Janice, let's go back to the deck. Uh, we're not, and take a look and see if there were uh, some aces or tens up there that could have helped you. Oh, we have five so far. Oh. There's a ten she could have used oh. and an ace. So there were the cards up there. We'll be back with our next hand called Strategy right after this. Contestants or studio audience members could receive... From Royal Worcester in the beautiful Esham pattern. Souffle, pie dish, and ramekins that will brighten up any table. Royal Worcester makes everyday oven-to-table wear something special. From Sabaco of Montreal, a pulsating shower massage that's easy to hold and convenient to use. An invigorating way to start your day. From Sabaco. A selection of products from Charles Craft, featuring the Pop Pop Hot Air Popcorn Machine. Makes light, fluffy popcorn in a minute. Safe with no mess. The fun time prize from Charles Craft. <laughs> Well, after the first hand of play, Arnold picked up uh, four of a kind and he leads, but it's comeback time for Janice here as we go into our next hand, which is called Strategy. We start with our deck of 16 cards. Watch the board. Now, we're going to turn up three of those cards, leave them up, and then starting with Janice, she'll reveal two more and then pick two to start her hand. Here we go. First three cards coming up. Six of hearts. Queen of diamonds. Seven of hearts. All right, Janice, turn okay. up two more. Uh, let's see what's under number three, please. Number three. Seven of spades. And uh, let's see under, what's under number five. And number five is the jack of diamonds. Which two cards do you want? I'll take the two sevens, please. The seven of spades and the seven of hearts. Mm -hmm. All right, Arnold, there are three showing. Show us two more. Okay, how about number six, please? Number six. Queen of spades, yes. Number 10, please. And number 10. Six of uh, spades. A nice choice. Which two cards for you? I'll take the two queens. Queen of spades, queen of diamonds. <laughs> to start his hand. Janice, you have a pair of sevens. There are three cards showing. Turn up two more. Let's see what's under number 13, please. 13. Ace of hearts. 
And what's under number 16? 16. Queen of Hearts. Now, the queen he could use. You have a pair of sevens, but you tell us which two cards you're going to take. Uh, take the two sixes. She's taking the six of hearts and the six of spades. She has two pairs. We are over to Arnold. Okay, let's hope for the fourth queen under number four. He has two queens. One is showing. Number four is the six of clubs. That gives uh, Janice a full house, but turn over one more, Arnold. Okay, number 12, please. Number 12. Here's the seven of diamonds. She could use that, too, but it's up to you. What's your strategy? Which two cards, Arnold? Okay, we'll take the queen and the seven. Uh, okay, he's taking the seven of diamonds, keeping it from her, seven. adding the queen to his pair, giving him three of a kind. Time for each of you to complete your hands. Turn over a card, Janice. Uh, let's see what's under number 14, please. Number 14 is the Ace of Diamonds. Pick a card. You've got sevens and sixes. Pick number six, please. She's taking six. the six of clubs for a full house. Turn over one card and then pick one of those. Number one, please. Number one is the Jack of Hearts. <clears throat> you have three queens and a seven. Pick a card. Mm, how about number seven for a seven, please? No, no, you have to pick it, or you can't oh. turn up any more. But it's a good strategy, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just it doesn't take matter. an ace. Sure. Diamonds. Uh, whatever, ace of hearts, okay, fine. Well, you did it, uh, Janice. Three of a kind for you, Arnold. That's three queens for $50. Added to your previous total gives you 190 But, uh, uh, I'm sorry, $300. But, uh, Janice... With a full house, $100 plus $50 high hand, that brings you up to $190. <laughs> Scores are close. The story will be told in our next hand, which is called Wild Card, and comes up right after this. Hi, and welcome back to Super Play Cards. This handsome young man is going to play my audience participation game. What's your name? Lauren Raymond. Hi, Lauren. Very happy to have you here on Super Pay Cards. Lauren, I'm going to give you a chance to win a pocket camera. Now, you're trying to sneak a peek at these cards, aren't you? There's not too much that you can see just yet, but in a moment, I'm going to show you eight cards on the board. There are the positions of the cards. I have the same eight cards in my hand. Once you've seen the cards and you watch them very carefully, I'll give you a chance to choose one of the cards and you'll tell me where it is on the board. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, for a chance at that pocket camera, let's look at those eight cards. Choose a card, Lauren. Okay. Lauren has chosen the nine of hearts. Now, Number do you remember where you saw that on the board? Number two. No hesitation at all. Is the nine of hearts in position number two? It certainly is. Congratulations, Lauren. You usually have a good memory. Once in a while. Well, I'm glad you showed it here on Super Pay Cards. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Back to you, Art. Well, in our last hand, Janice narrowed the gap. The score is $300 to uh, $190 now, and this is the one that tells the story. It is Wild Card. First, here is your deck of 16 cards, players. I'd like to tell you that in that deck, there is at least one Wild Card, and it looks like this. There's at least one, maybe two, could be three, but five of a kind is possible. And don't forget, we pay $300 for five of a kind. Now, before Janice picks three cards, we're going to very quickly show you four cards in the deck. Here we go. Queen of Hearts. King of Spades. Jack of Hearts. And all in a row, there is the Ace of Hearts. Four very nice cards. Remember where they've been. Yes, Janice, pick three. Let's see what's under number eight, please. Number eight. Queen of Clubs, yes. See what's under number 16. She's shopping before she makes a match. Number 16 is the Ace of Spades and your third card. Let's see what's under number four. Interesting. She's, uh, well, um, four is the Ace of Hearts, right. Okay. 
<clears throat> for a moment there, I thought she was going to keep shopping, but you have your first three cards, a pair of aces and a queen. It's still your turn. Turn up one more. I want to see what's under number nine. Number nine. Jack of spades. If you take it, the best you can do is three of a kind. No. She sends it back. Arnold, three cards. Okay, we'll start with number five, please. Number five. Ten of hearts. Number 15, please. Fifteen. King of clubs. Mm -hmm. Number three, please. He's going for a pair. Number three is the jack of hearts. Do you want these three? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, you look a little perplexed there. Surprise. Janice, you have a pair of aces and a queen. Pick one. See what's under number 11, please. Eleven. Do you want the king of diamonds? No. 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 Yeah, it doesn't help too much. Okay, Arnold, three cards. Number two, please. Number two is the king of spades. Yes. Number 11, please. That gives him a pair of kings, I think. Yes, there's the king of diamonds. The third card. Okay, how about number... 13, please. Number 13, what does this do for Arnold? It gives oh. him three kings. And it is still your turn. Pick another card. Okay. Lucky number seven, please. Number seven. Do you want the queen of diamonds? Yes, I do. He takes he it. He keeps it from Janice. It's still your turn. Turn over another card, Arnold. Number one, please. Number one. You want the Queen of Hearts? Yes, I do. He keeps it. He has a full house, kings high. That's what you have to beat, Janice. And uh, it can be done if there are wild cards and aces up there mm -hmm. and queens. But you must keep these next two cards. Good luck. See what's under number 10, please. Number 10 is a wild card. You have at least three aces. One more card. What will it be? I'd like to see what's under number 15. She wants a joker or an ace. And number 15 is the king of clubs. Okay, Janice, the uh, three aces is the best you can do with this hand, and that gives you $50 for a day's total of $240. But our winner is Arnold. He came through with the high hand, full house plus $50 high hand, and he wins with $450. In a moment, Arnold, we're going for $5,000 in cash. But, Janice, you played very well. We're happy to give you our home game of Super Pay Cards. Hope you had a good time. Stay with us, everybody. We're coming right back to watch Arnold go for the big money after this. Contestants or studio audience members could receive... A slicer from Waring. This slicer folds up for easy compact storage, including a safe, low-speed motor, complete with one-year warranty, yours from Waring. A selection of products featuring Franco-American pasta products, made with cheddar cheese and enriched flour. Just heat and serve this meal that the whole family will enjoy. What could be easier from Franco-American? The BSR System X10, the home controller. Run your house at the touch of a button. Your starter set will cover two lights and one appliance. Once you've got control, you can take command with the BSR X10 system. Arnold Fox. Crafty as a fox. Came through. Political science major, how do you feel about it, Arnold? Very happy. <laughs> okay, well, you'll be uh, happier still when you win $5,000, which you have a chance to do. Now, Mary Lou, as you see, has four cards in her hand. This is the first level of play worth $50 on your way to $5,000. These same four cards, Arnold, are now going to appear on the game board. There's the deck you'll be playing with. When you give the signal, we'll turn them around for four seconds. Pick a card from Mary Lou. If you can go back in the deck and find it, you've got yourself $50, and you're on your way to $5,000. Are you ready? I think so. Arnold is set. Turn over the cards for four seconds starting now. Back they go. Pick a card. He has chosen the seven of spades. Where is it? Number four. Number four. Without hesitation, for $50, is the seven of spades number four? Yes, it is. 
Very good. Well, you've cleared the first hurdle. You're at the $500 level. We play the same way, Arnold, but this time with a larger deck. Eight cards. Here they come up on the game board. Are you ready to see them? Let's go. Arnold says, let's go. Turn them around for eight seconds. Back goes the deck. Here are the same cards in the hand of Mary Lou that you saw on the board. He picks the end one, which is the seven of spades uh, again. This time, where is it? I think it's number two. He thinks it's number two. He says it a little less confidently. We want the seven of spades for $500. Is it number two? Nope, eight of diamonds. Where is it in the deck? It was in that area. Well, the $5,000 is uh, beyond your grasp now, Arnold, but we're still going for $500. Uh, before we do that, why did you pick political science uh, as a major? What else can I do? <laughs> no, it's my interest, international relations, and I've studied it before. And I intend to go on in that field. Good for you. All right, let's see if you can pick up $500 here. Let's put up another deck of uh, eight cards. Are you ready to see them, Arnold? Yes, I am. Turn them around. Back they go. He picks a card from Mary Lou. This time, not the end card. It's the eight of spades for $500 and a day's total of around $1,000. Where is it? Number two. He says number two again. We want the eight of spades. Is it number two? It's an eight, but the wrong suit. Where is it this time? Well, it's uh, in the number four position. But you have an even $500 for the day. Congratulations, Arnold. Thank you. Good luck to you in your studies and your career. Mary Lou and I will see you next time, everybody, on Super Pay Cards. Bye bye. <laughs>